Hello everyone Johnny here and welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be showing you what a day in the life of an undercover policeman would be like. As always if you're new around here please smash that big subscribe button, also smash the like button, go get yourself some merch if you haven't already. But before we do get into the video I do just want to share with you guys a game that I've been banging out at a minute called Match Masters. Match Masters is a competitive puzzle game in which two people from around the world compete head to head to match colours on a board and get the highest score to win. As well as matching colours to win, ranking up on match Masters will also help you do so, unlocking special, legendary and diamond boosters. Once you've unlocked one of these boosters, you choose it before the game and in the game, once you've ranked up enough points, your booster will be ready to activate. Now, as well as it being a really fun game to play, here's the cool part. Every Thursday until the end of July, Match Masters are giving away three wicked prizes. A five-star holiday to Ibiza for five nights for two people, an iPhone 13 Pro Max and an iPad Air. By downloading Match Masters through the link in the description or using the QR code on screen, you also have a chance to win a brand new car by the end of July and the winners will be announced every Thursday on Matchmasters Instagram. So download now to win some wicked prizes and also to have some fun. Good luck. Right now, let's get into the video. 6.30am and I wake up and get myself out of bed. Early bird catches the worm. I then put on my police jacket. Look in the mirror and make sure I still got it. Sorry love, I know you ain't got no arms and legs, but you cannot claim disability benefits without a permit. You're nicked. I then head downstairs to the kitchen and make myself some lovely breakfast. Being a police officer, my breakfast usually consists of a variety of meals. For example, bacon, sausages, ham, salami, bacon fries, and last but not least, a bacon sausage sandwich. And I'll usually eat that and wash it down with a fine bit of pork stock. Mmm, you can't beat a bit of pork stock tea. Lovely. After I've finished my breakfast, I sit down and go over the book of laws just so I make sure I never break any. Right, honey, I'm off to work, okay? Make sure the dishwasher's done and the washing machine's all finished. The washing machine is a bit faulty, but I'll get some of the car in after I can do that. There's food in the fridge as always, but I will go shopping a bit later and go get some more because I know how much you love your pork, honey. Um, where are the keys? Keys, what's that? Oh, there you are. Right, I think that's everything. Um, you got everything? Okay, yeah, I'm off to work now, honey. Um, anyways, honey, I'll see you later. <coughs> huh? What's that? <laughs> I mean, you could either get the apple out of the recycling bin or uh, pay this fine that I just issued to you. Your choice. Oh, oh. <laughs> Oh, Jeff, you do make me laugh sometimes. <laughs> Wait, you're not serious, are you? I don't really see what's funny. Now, food waste is not recyclable waste. We learn this in school, honey. Come on now, don't make me nick you. If you seriously think I'm taking my half-eaten apple out the bottom of the bin, you've got another thing coming. Don't be ridiculous. It's the law! Now you either comply or I will get my sergeant involved. You know what? Sometimes you can be a real arsehole. Here, take your fine. Cheers, honey. I'll get that issue for you right away. Oh, fuck yourself. Well done, Jeff, mate. As it says here on page 62, family and loved ones do not override the law on any circumstance. <laughs> Good job, mate. 
7 a.m. I make my way down to the station. I sit at my desk and start going over some paperwork. Some of the case files you go over on a day to day really does make your blood boil. Ah, here he is. Robert Saunders, age 16, arrested but released without charge for stealing two Kit Kats from a local Tesco. Huh, <laughs> makes me sick. Personally, I would have thrown a book at him. Mm. Let's see if I could do some digging, send a few emails, make a few calls. Maybe, if we're lucky, I'll get him recalled and he can do a year or two. Teach the little shit a lesson. Hello? Oh yes, hi Judy, how you doing? Yeah, I'm not too bad myself, yeah. Uh, I just wanted to issue a search warrant on a Robert Saunders. Yeah, yes, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, nice. Cool, thank you very much. Yeah, ta-la. Let's just hope he smokes puff. <laughs> what am I talking about? Oh, of course he does. <laughs> 10 a.m. and I'm called out on patrol. Now the thing is with being a police officer is that there's a crime being committed all around every second. You just need to know where to look. Hmm. What are you going in there for, mate? A bit too scruffy for my liking. Aha! Gotcha! Morning, sir. Would you uh, mind taking the keys out of the ignition for me? Um, sure. Right, so, um, do you like breaking the law? What? Do you like breaking the law? No, I, I don't. Sorry, mate. What's this about exactly? First of all, I'm not your mate. And secondly, what's that there then? Car seat. Not the car seat, mate. That right there in the cup holder. An old fruit pastel. No, the fucking drink, man. Oh, Shandy Bass. Why, do you want some? No, I fucking do not. Are you aware that it's illegal to drink and drive, mate? Um, yeah, of course, but this isn't exactly alcohol. Uh, but, but, but. Pass me the can, mate. I'll be the judge of that. Mm-hmm. You stand corrected, mate. What's that say there, buddy? 0.3% alcohol. Mm-hmm. Okay. Come on. Would you step out of the car for me, sir? Huh? For what? Are you joking? Does it look like I'm joking? Come on. Hey, come, sir. Come on. <sighs> this is ridiculous. <sighs> right, sir. No. I'm going to be arresting you on suspicion of uh, driving under the influence, mate. What? But I haven't even had a drink. <laughs> Alright, mate. D you can't just do that. You haven't even breathalyzed me on nothing. I don't need to breathalyze you, mate. I'm arresting you on suspicion. Sure, you've only had one now, but one needs to another. For all I know, by 1pm you could be backing them like Paul Gascoigne. <laughs> I need to stop the problem before it happens. Now come on, give me your arm. No, don't touch me. <coughs> You fucking comply when I'm talking to you, do you understand me, mate? I'm an officer of the law! Ah, yes, mate, it's okay, I'm sorry. You're fucking crazy, get off of me! Now, you do not have to say anything. Anything you do say, mate, will be used against you in court. Now, stand there. This is Bravo 6. There's been a shooting in Hackney. Need all reinforcements now, over. Sorry, no can do here. I'm busy with a criminal. Over. Mate, there's been a shooting and you're standing here talking nonsense to me over a shandy bus. Are you alright? <laughs> right, so uh, what we're going to do, mate, is we're going to take you out of these cuffs. <sighs> and uh, I will be um, taking these car keys and you will be issued with a two year driving ban. Have you got any complaints, mate? Um, well, yeah. Right, well, I suggest you take it up with a the court then. 
Oh, also on another note, your car will be seized and it will be sent to the impound. If you cannot pay to get it get out by the end of the week, it will be crushed. <laughs> Here's a written statement of everything we've just gone over. Other than that, um, I wish you a good day. Nice one, mate. Midday and I take my lunch break and head to the pub for a soft drink with all of my many mates. After a swift lunch, I'm back at the station fighting crime. PC Cole, how are you today? Ah, sir, I'm good. Yourself? Not bad, not bad. Um, I'm just coming here to tell you that we've got a very important mission on our hands at the minute and uh, we need the best man for the job. Oh, sir, well, uh, what can I say? I'm flattered. Uh, what exactly is this mission? Well, um, we've been following a highly dangerous group of drug gangs at the minute and uh, we need the best police officer to bust them. Great. Where's the location? I'll get right to it. <laughs> you see, I wish it was as easy as that, but uh, these drug dealers are not as stupid as we think. If you go around there, guns blazing, then uh, you're just going to blow the whole thing. Uh, no, you're going undercover. PC Cole, meet my nephew, Jack Emmons. He's been working alongside us in this case as our undercover specialist. Yo, G. You right, bud? Jack, this is PC Cole. He's one of our finest officers. There's not a man he cannot catch. In fact, I think he's had over 208 critical arrests in his whole career. Uh, 209, sir. Precisely my point, which is exactly the reason why uh, he will be shadowing you today. Wait, I'm shadowing him? Too right, broski. It's gonna be freaking fam. Why does he talk like that? <laughs> See, Jack here has been studying the urban culture for years now, and uh, him being 22, a young man, he has a much more detailed and better view of the youth nowadays than we ever can. <laughs> and he assures me this is how they speak and dress. Too right, fam, this is the lingo of the streets, G. Even though mummy sent me to private school, I've got some pretty cool ass mates that taught me a thing or two about the streets. Right. Are you 100% sure this is the way to go about it, sir? Believe me when I say PC Cole, he is the expert in this field, and with his dress sense and lingo, it will blend in like a thief in the night. Whatever you say, Sarge, I'll trust your judgment. Right, I settle then. Jack will be giving you some clothes to wear, and he'll also be teaching you about the basic urban language at the minute, and you'll be good to go. Yes, sir. Right, I'll leave you boys to it. Right, G, so first things first, have you heard of the rapper Stormzy? After a brief lesson of the undercover expert, we head out to a known spot of the suspected drug dealers and lay low. Right, here's the plan. I'm gonna go up to him, make him give me some insight that I know he's got something on him, and boom, I'm gonna arrest him. No, broski, trust me, I've got this. You just sit back and watch. Listen, mate, I've been an outstanding police officer for 15 years. I know what I'm doing. No, broski, you haven't got the lingo on point like me, fam. If they hear you chatter chatter chatting, they're gonna know exactly you're a fed G. Busted, buster Rooney. Then we freaking lost the case. And besides, Uncle Jason put me in charge of this one, so I call the shots, fam. <sighs> Fine. But any problems, just turn and wink at me, all right? Of course, broski G star. Right, watch my back. My brothers don't dance, they just vossy bro. My brothers don't dance, they just vossy bro. Yeah, I know more bro, but this thing's up was a mazza cuz, man, at to beat it. <laughs> You're on a mad thing, that chick is loose cuz, you know half the blocks beat that. Yeah, so what, man bears that too. Ha ha ha, you are nasty bro. Jay, tell my man he's better than me. Shut up. Hey, pretty dookie. Who the fuck's this you, man? Yo, my slime. You skunked, cuz. Najee, I'm not, but I'm trying to burn a big old biff, da fam. You know, finna be a skunkosaurus rex, G. Rah, where's the Kali tree, G? So can you two guys sort me out? I can't lie, I don't know what you're talking about, my bro. You know, skunk, Mary Jane, the devil's lettuce, the Kali tree, G. Surely to a body type, huh? Oh, yeah? And the. Uh, what makes you think I got that? Oh, you know, bro, me and my friend actually keep on the D-Lo. We're actually serious bunners, G. My friend picked up a few like last week. He got a box of Cali. <laughs> a box of Cali, yeah? Who's your boy? <laughs> you know my friend, G. His name is, um, um, Lorny Moe's G. Hey, bro, this guy's a fed. I lie. What? I'm not a fed, G. I freaking hate them loser ass pigs, man. Do yourself a favor and fuck off, blood. I'm not your guy, bro. But... 
I, I, I just want some bud, please, Jake. He already told you. You don't do them things or know what the f you're talking about. Now, f off. Oh, come on. Please, G. I just, I, I need evidence you've got weed on you. Just, just, I, I know you've got it on you, please. Hey, Paul, get the f off of me. <laughs> Oi, stop right there. <sighs> Blood, I told you this guy was a fed. Run. Oh darn, didn't you catch him, Broski? I thought we had him, man. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't catch him. Oh. No one's no able to escape me. It's okay, Broski, we'll get him next time. Next time, next time. Next time. Next time. There is no next time. fucking next, next time. time. Just, 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 just leave me alone. alone. I need to be, need alone. To be alone. All right, G, them sheesh. <laughs> Guess I'll see you back at the station. Honey, I'm back! Honey, how was work? Why are you sitting here with the... Lights off. Jeff? You're... You're, you're drinking. So? Well, you haven't had a drink in 15 years. Is everything okay? I don't know. Is it? I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, honey. You're not making sense. I let a criminal get away today. The first time I've ever let a criminal get away. And it got me thinking. They don't need locking up. They need prosecuting in the right way so they won't re-offend again. Prevention is better than cure. Honey, you're scaring me. I'm, I'm gonna call your boss. Yes, hello? Yes, he's my husband, yes. Yeah. Anyways, that's the video. I hope you did enjoy it. Please leave a like if you did. You all seem to love these day in the life, so please smash the like button to show me how much you love them. Uh, if you've got any ideas of any other day in the life you want to see me do, let me know down below. Go get yourself some merch if you haven't already. I should be dropping some new merch soon, so I'll keep eyes peeled for that. Subscribe to the Johnny Kazrami and the yeah, goodbye.